mystery of the obscene little Hampton letter is causing widespread distress across the nation. Holy heavens. Carry on. Dear Edith, you foxy old whore. In the end, I think it's just jealousy. You feel certain that Rose Gooding's guilty? I can't see why they think it's me. Some of the Virgin making history here. I was a bit roisterous once or twice. It's time you owned up to these letters. Rose Gooding allegedly harassed a pretty young Christian woman. What's the evidence? Similarities in the language. I think you've been set up, Rose. Is there anyone who'd want to do such a thing? Have you got a pen and paper? I like you, Rose, and, and I'd like to bring you to the light. Why would I send a letter when I can just say it? I'm not standing for it. Will you catch them in the act? I noticed they say f a lot. Nobody swears like that. What would you say? You look like Queen Victoria Shelton. <gasps> you daft old. <gasps> that was the trailer from the fantastic new movie, Wicked Little Letters. Led by Oscar winner Olivia Coleman, the film is set in an English seaside town in the 1920s, where residents began receiving letters filled with hilarious profanities that are met with a national uproar and then an arrest. However, once the town's women begin to investigate the letters, they begin to suspect the person arrested may not actually be the culprit after all. And Olivia Coleman joins us now, along with the film's director, Thea Sherrick. Thanks you both for being with us. Uh, Olivia, let's just start with you. What drew you to this role? Well, I, I thought it'd be fun to play. Um, <laughs> uh, I never, there's no sort of game plan with things that you choose, but it depends what uh, appears at what, um, and depends what's happening in your life when, the, when they turn up. And I just thought playing Edith would be great fun. She's on the face of it, she's one thing, and then behind closed doors, she's something else. And uh, I just, and I love the idea of a, of a quite a female strong cast and working with Thea. I mean, it all just added up to being. A, f a few months well spent. Yeah, how much fun you're having comes through on the screen, that is clear. Thea, obviously, <laughs> language is at the center of this film, language that you absolutely cannot repeat on our morning television show right now. So please Aww. don't spare us the uh, letters from the government okay. and the accompanying fines. Uh, but tell us just about, about that. The, what, what struck a chord with you in terms of the use of words and what they mean? The use of words. Have to be very careful. Um, <laughs> I think one of the things that I was most drawn to with this project was the fact that um, it's based on a true story. And the letters that we use in the film, uh, very, very few of them were our own creativity. So I, we think about 80% mm. of the letters in the movie are the real letters that were handwritten 100 years ago. Um, and they are... I mean, they're innately British. They are hilariously funny. They say so much about somebody who is trying so hard, I think, always to try and find a, a voice. And the use of language within the letters is, is extraordinary and both very funny, but also there's a, there's a, a touching quality, I think, to the voice underneath the letters. So I was hugely drawn to the project. The language was was one of the one of the main things, sort of, you know, trying to understand who this person could possibly be. Olivia, a, a central relationship in this film is your character, Edith and Rose, played by Jesse Buckley. Talked about about that dynamic on and off screen. Um, well, for me, going to work with one of my best friends, it, you know, was an absolute dream. We swear at each other for free anyway, so might as well get paid. <laughs> um, and uh, that the friendship, there's, there's such a beautiful female friendship at the core of this. Um, the promise of this friendship and what it could mean for both of them. But then, you know, it's sort of, they're, they're, they're two women who see each other. One who has escaped, I think, who is Rose. Um, and, you know, a modern audience looks at Rose and we all go, that is the woman I want to be. Um, but 
back in the day, she was looked upon with such disdain by everybody um, because she was relatively free, um, outspoken, uh, sort of. And Edith, back in the day, was looked upon as the perfect woman, quiet and pious and obedient. And we know we now look at that as that isn't that is clearly not freedom. Um, and these two women, I love the way they respond to each other, and. Uh, I think it's quite moving, although it's a very funny, great night out in the cinema. It's also very moving, this friendship that could have been and it just goes slightly awry. And on that, on that, Thea, very, very funny, but also some big themes here, including the ideas of oppression and freedom of speech. Yes, gosh. It it's funny, isn't it? Because it, honestly, it is a comedy and it's, <laughs> it's a very light, easy night out in the cinema. But... There is no avoiding that there are some really big topics within it that I... What's interesting, and the reactions have been fantastic, is that people seem to take from it very different things. Uh, people seem to find quite personal reactions to some of the bigger themes. Um, so there's lots to come away and, and to think about and to, to talk about after the movie. Um, but as I say, the most important thing is is it really is it's joyous. It's 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 very quick. It's 96 minutes. It's like it goes in a flash. And to be able to hear audiences laughing and appreciating it in that way is is an absolute joy, isn't mm -hmm. it? The hilarious new film is Wicked Little Letters. Olivia Coleman and Thea Sharrick, thank you both very much. Thank and you very thank much you. for having us. Hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.